Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you bare face because I want to review some of the items I've received from Juice Beauty. Juice Beauty is organic skincare formulated without parabens, synthetic fragrances, artificial dyes, sulfates, pesticides, and much more. And their products are never tested on animals. So if this sounds like something you want to learn more about, just keep watching. The first item I want to show you is the Stem Cellular Cleansing Oil from Juice Beauty. I add a couple pumps of this into a wet washcloth to remove my eye makeup. It also helps remove my foundation really well. Sometimes if I'm wearing a heavy eyeliner in the waterline, I'll just add a little pump to a Q-tip and I'll just work it between my lashes. It's really gentle but very effective. Even if I'm not wearing makeup that night, I still like to add a couple pumps into my dry hands and then apply it onto dry skin just to give it a bit of a softening effect. After I've done that, I apply some water and it will build up some suds on my skin. They're not really suds, it's more milky than anything. And then I continue to rinse. And after I've rinsed, I've noticed that it just has this really radiant glow and it leaves my skin feeling really hydrated. Next, I'm using the Green Apple Peel Nightly Brightening Pads. I'm using this not only to remove any last traces of makeup, but also to help brighten up the appearance of my skin. I'm noticing I'm getting a lot of dark spots and a little bit of hyperpigmentation here and there, so I'm just trying to do things that are going to help correct that. And I just want to point out that the Green Apple Collection is really not designed for sensitive skin, and I have sensitive skin, but I thought I would just kind of take the risk, and so far so good, I haven't had any issues, so I'm going to continue using it. The pads themselves are made from bamboo, and they're really fresh. They, they, I guess they have the essence of apple, but there's definitely something else I smell. It smells really good. I, I'm not really sure what it is, but it smells nice, and I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea what else it smells like, but there is a fruity essence to it. Um, I just want to point out that after you apply these, you might feel a slight tingle. For me, it's really mild and it doesn't bother me, but it is normal according to the directions. Next, I follow up with the Green Apple Age Defy Serum. It has antioxidants and vitamin C, so it's really going to help brighten and also fight the free radicals. It also has peptides and hyaluronic acid, which is going to help plump up those fine lines and wrinkles. It's really lightweight and it's fast absorbing. And best of all, it kind of has this, well, it's not kind of, it smells really citrusy. It's got organic lemon in it, and it kind of smells like lemon pledge. <laughs> Does anybody else like to clean up there? I, for some reason, I love the way this smells. It does smell like lemon pledge. For my lips, I'm using the organic lip moisturizer, and this has castor seed oil, beeswax, orange oil, vanilla, shea butter, and cocoa butter. And it's definitely got like an oily consistency, but it makes a really good gloss, and it tastes like an orange creamsicle, so I'm totally in love. It tastes good. <laughs> Another cleanser I have from Juice is the Green Apple Cleansing Gel. I like this because it's a little bit more clarifying and sometimes what I'll do is use a stem cellular cleansing oil to remove my makeup and then I'll add the cleansing gel to really clarify. Um, it has a more watery texture um, in comparison to a lot of cleansers. I'm assuming it's because it's organic. It's just not as thick as most, um, but it does have that nice citrusy scent and it's great for sun damaged skin and also aging skin. So there's a reason why I'm not wearing makeup. It's because I want to try the Tinted Mineral Moisturizer in Tan and the Perfecting Foundation in Organic Tan. And I just want to show you how it looks on my skin. Um, first I'm going to try the SPF 30 Tinted Moisturizer. So if you're watching, you can see that it's really light. It's a really light coverage and why I like it is because it doesn't leave the white marks that you get from a lot of sunscreens. So for me that's important. This will be great just during the day on my no makeup days, but if I need a little bit more coverage, I would probably have to add on the foundation. And I 
I am adding this on top of all the products that I just described. So that's my skin with just the SPF on. And I just want to point out this is not a chemical sunscreen, this is a physical and it's only zinc oxide. Uh, next I am going to try the perfecting foundation. So you can see very light coverage. So this is the tan shade. Come on. Okay. I'm just going to kind of apply it under the eye so and just on one side so you can see. Okay, so by looking at it, I can tell that this side's a little bit, it's definitely a little bit darker. Um, it's not quite my shade right now, but I like that because I actually get a lot more tan during the summer. Not on purpose, but it just happens. Um, but yeah, this side is a little warmer, but it'll be perfect in like two months when the summer's here. So, yay! I'm just gonna apply some more so you can see how it's gonna look. And it has kind of a dewy finish. It's not matte, that's for sure. But I like it. My, my skin feels really hydrated. And it has a nice glow to it, so I'm all about it. So that completes my review with my Juice Beauty items. I really like what this brand represents. I like the idea of feeding your skin with organic products. I'm not quite on the organic lifestyle. I'm working on it, so this is definitely a part of my new regimen. Um, but I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe, and be sure to comment because I do write back and I do appreciate all of your feedback. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will talk to you next time.